In a world that's constantly changing, you have to move forward to change with it. At Strayer University, we see you striving to work harder and go further. That's why we provide you with the tools you need to get there, like offering a brand new laptop when you enroll in a bachelor's program, so you can do your coursework anytime, anywhere. Because our greatest strength is helping you unlock yours, so you can always keep striving. Visit strayer.edu to learn more. Eligibility rules, restrictions, and exclusions apply. Connect with us for details. The Podcast Playground! Entering the Who's House podcast. Who's House? Who I got on Who's House today? I got the birthday boy himself, Kodak Black. What's up, man? It's like my Zinig. Too loud, man. Ooh, what is that? What is Headphones? Capale. Regular. Headphones. You, you, you fly ass nigga, man. You don't need no headphones, man. You want headphones? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> Before I even start this interview, I just found out how Pistols and Pearls came out came about. Somebody uh, kind of like snitched uh, the whole situation here. Like I, I, I don't know. I I saw like a nice booty earlier with a tattoo. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I know how the the title came messy, about. Don't be messy. <laughs> don't be messy. Don't be messy. Though. VV, yo, yo. Hey, first of all, before we even start, shout out everybody that's in here, uh, or or they could do it. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Let's start with you, V. Go ahead. Um, I'm trying to see what's up with Gordito and Lacrete because they hard. So I'm just yeah. passing the bottle to them. Them niggas hard as fuck to me, genuinely from the heart. Gordito got the motherfucking everything, a Latina everything, Spanish on lockdown. I know that nigga coming. Lacrete's got everything on lockdown. That nigga don't play. At wow, all, so I just shit. know. I just want to pass it to him, type shit. All right, I just be chilling. <laughs> <laughs> that baby boy, right? That's Lacrae's personality in one bottle. <laughs> so uh, I'm assuming you're from his neighborhood or Saint County. Oh wow! So uh, explain to me the quick one on one how you guys linked up. Is it like from kids or is it a relationship from oh, like goodness. before? Or yeah, he just picked the quietest person. Like quiet as me, I was the quietest one. He just picked me out of everybody and just said, "I'm gonna make you a rapper." And put you in the studio. Perfect day, yeah. And Matt, two in the morning. And then magic was created right after that. He got all on that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give me a one on one. How you bet this crazy guy? I already got like bad songs from him already. Where did this come about? There's a multicultural around here, bro. Yeah, everybody like my great everybody be zooming with each other. Okay. What should I say? A Broward, Broward thing. Broward. So you from Broward also? I'm from Broward, yeah. Oh man, can you give me a one on one on you? Shout out your Instagram. Man, make sure everybody shout out the Instagram. It's the a Brelena thing though. Y'all <laughs> can't do me like that. It's a Brelena. Like Broward Atlanta. Like it's a Brelena. Man. All right. Brelena, I mean, it, is. Like, it, is it is. It is what it is. Like, y'all ain't going. Broward ain't going. No, but we already know I'm popping over your mad. No, you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Flow, you know, Venezuela, Punto Fijo. My people right now. That's where they at. So everybody was there for uh, Kodak Black Day, right? I mean, it was an amazing birthday. A lot of people just don't know that how you give back to the community. You want to big that up because you have your artists; they all with you. It's like a big family, but you do give back to the community. You want to put that out there, so you ain't gotta be. They know what's up. You don't really talk about that kind of shit because it's just like that's a personal thing that you do uh, on your own personal time. Like you give back to the. I see you with the kids. You go with the, you know, with, with the family out there. It's like. It's very personal. And, and I don't need no up. credit for that. I don't take. I don't take school. You don't take no credit at all, huh? Shout out to Hardeen Las Vegas, the best dispensary in the world. What's life like in uh, Pompano? Like you already like you got your artists cracking right now. What, what what is life like? Give me like a one because I went there finally, and you saw I was like, oh shit, this is some real ass shit out here. I'm from Pompano. Ah, Popo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Immediately. Uh, damn. So you being twenty six, are you an OG now? I was been OG. I ain't never been a YG. Mm. I was, I shot straight the OG status. I was born that. When you gonna run for president, man? <laughs> 
we need some kind of politics, man. We need some kind of push, man. And you got your you got your your, your artist here. You can give him like you can be in charge of the buddy. You can be in charge of the army. You can be in charge. I don't know. You can be in charge. I'm the general. <laughs> That. I'm the general. Oh, do y'all hear me? I'm the general. I mean, it, it, it is out there that you 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 put it out there that you want to run for president. Is that something in the future, like the next five years from now, after you dominate? I mean, you already dominate whatever you do, but next five years, do you see yourself in in politics? However, God wrote it out on me, and it's gonna stop stepping in my purpose. On me. I ain't gonna lie, everything we everything we doing honestly is going amazing. Especially coming from a person who, like, I'm gonna be real with you, like, us being signed as artists, especially me from my perspective, um, I ain't gonna lie, Kodak treat us according to how he, like, basically what I'm saying is everything that he went through as artist, he tried to give us the, the better side of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie, he doing a hell of a good job. Like, I'm grateful as a motherfucker, to be all the way honest. Like, people dying to be in my position like literally uh, cut their foot out whatever fuck he say do just to be in my position so I'm grateful and he don't take that for granted like he he not one of them CEOs who be on some shit like oh I'm the CEO he ain't big headed with his shit no. like how you just told him like oh about the giving back thing like do he want to say something about it he do everything from the heart like everything from the heart like you ain't gonna hear no backlash about it you ain't gonna hear no oh I did this oh, I he ain't an Indian giver is what I'm saying you know? when, you, when when you guys are in the studio, how's the competitiveness in there? Is it like, you know, you I'm broke... scared of her in that bed. Huh? <laughs> she a tiger. What? Meow. <laughs> 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 I mean, being the yeah. sort, being the, I mean, I mean, being around all these dudes, like, I, I mean, how do you she like? Nice. It doesn't affect. I ain't gonna you. lie, me being who I am, I'm with it, and I ain't gonna lie. These niggas, these gangsters who I'm around, like these niggas who love me, who care about me. So at the end of the day, these niggas, if anywhere I'm lacking it, they gonna pick up. Mm. Yeah, they ain't gonna let me fall. Who's heartless with the A and R? Who heartless? Yeah, like yeah, this shit's whack. Do this shit over. Yeah. Is it you? <laughs> <laughs> like Chris, that way the silent assassin. Right? Oh God, literally. He he be telling. He'll tell you that you need to do some shit over. Like he'll tell you that. What? <laughs> Yo, it's quiet niggas. And crazy. I accept, I take it, ain't huh? no bullshit about it. Together, it's, everyone achieve more. We team. Yeah, it, it's good to have that um, attitude because the yes men are the worst, man. If everybody's like agreeing to every record, everything is hot, everything, and because they're nervous or scared of the apex artist, what the fuck are you around for? That shit is like lame as fuck. So it's good that y'all go back and forth on each other. Who goes first? Who goes second? Just high over that bit for me. Yeah. Okay. Do you ever be intimidated by this guy? Like, if he does like a record, it's like too crazy. Like, damn, I think you should be on this dolo or. You, you, I, say, I done did that before. Oh, know. really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the producers that create your sounds? I know you deal with a lot of them. Is there some main producers or in house or anybody you fuck with mainly? I ain't gonna lie, as of, as of lately, like, like recently, I had signed this dude named Zeus. Yeah, oh, boy. okay. Yeah, boy, for real, for real. The beats gonna always matter. Like, if that bit, like, if I listen to some shit and a beat on, if I don't just automatically, like, out the gate, start coming up with shit, um, it ain't the beat, I change it. So it's mainly a vibe. So you guys don't go in there with a plan. Everything is just like an experience. Top with that shit. Yeah, it's like an experience or a vibe or something going on. Or maybe he's the fattest ass on the planet. I don't know. Like, <laughs> there has to be a reason to get these records done, and there's always a side backstory on all of them. And then you pick, but how do you pick like a body of work? You have 21 songs on the last sure, project. That's a, how many songs you got? Are you like Tupac and shit. How many joints you got over there? Yo? <laughs> Tupac is a nigga that be doing like 500 records. With. How many records y'all got done over there? That nigga do that by himself in one fucking hour. To be all the way honest, if he wants to. What? I got a whole uh, Yakavelli project in the cut for real, for real. Mm. You got some shit right now? Airdrop. <laughs> hey, the unreleased. Let's go. What? <laughs> I know they sent me to the worstest pen in America. Worstest penitentiary in America. Facts. 
where boys turn to pieces. Locked in a cell and dudes splashing you with feces. Conspiratorial corona thesis. The most creative and the purest genius built the pyramids. So nigga, what you think this is? I'm older than a smack or a dumb rapper, Michael Rapport. Government talking domestic passports. Fuck it, next time I ain't going to court. Give a young nigga life sentence, now he's smoking Newports. President Trump, a grand wizard like he Merlin. Try to say you better than Tupac, it's like the world end. I'm Jesus, men and me coming through the whirlwind. I'm a man on a mission. I'm a poor in physician. Challenging the voodoo man's magician. Casting my style to bring up the project's rounds. By the USA leading us down the path of self destruction. Black people still living in times of reconstruction. Distracted by implants, ass shots, and liposuction. Targeting black women's reproductions. And how they formulate. They trying to control the nation's population. Fuck it, crash global economic stations. I made it through the gunfire, just told around the shell cases. They hate me because I'm young, rich, and I'm Haitian. Jokes Up Ice Cream Dispensary is the number one cannabis dispensary in Studio City and Los Angeles. Offering the highest quality and the best prices on ice cream cannabis, Jokes Up Ice Cream and Wicked will release Houdini this month. It, it, it's crazy. I was talking to uh, Janikas the other day, and he was telling me how you, you, you're like the only nigga that told. But I think I understand why the the narrative is is like you know you're telling like a top five get to redo their verse. But that shit was a special record, man. That was like about your parents and shit, your moms and shit. So people don't know that they think Kodak is wilding out to like a, like a, a five change your verse. It wasn't like that. It was it, it, it was a it special record. Yeah. It wasn't even like that, bro. Caught. Mm. Like as as humbly and as respectful, yeah. I could be. I just asking that, not like putting down on them or nothing. I know. fuck with Jada Kiss. Mm. I know his potential. I know what. I know how you be sliding and shit. So mm. to hear that, when, when I hit him up, he like he ain't take it as no disrespect. Mm. And then, who fucks with you that we we just people just don't know? I fucked up like Kendrick. Kendrick Lamar. How did that come about? Where did the Kendrick Lamar connection come from? He came out here, he, he, he held him down, or? All type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> How was that process? Like, you you were in the studio with him, or? Yeah. Or? Okay. He Gemini game, like, in a boy, in a boy Hebrew, Israelite. I see you got the mayor on deck, you got the city council, so you're in. When you gonna run for president, man? <laughs> We need some kind of politics, man. We need some kind of push, man. And you got your, you got your, your, your artists here. You can give him like, you can be in charge of the money. You can be in charge of the army. You can be in charge. I don't know. You can be in charge. I'm the general. <laughs> See that? I'm the general. Oh, do y'all hear me? I'm the general. I mean, it, it, it is out there that you, you, you put it out there that you want to run for president. Is that something in the future, like the next five years from now, after you dominate? I mean, you already dominate whatever you do, but next five years, do you see yourself in, in politics? I have a guy wrote it out on it, and it's gonna stop stepping in my purpose or something. So, sure. hey, they're the first motherfuckers to get their independence as in first black country. Mm. Hell yeah. If you were to be like president, what, what would you do first for Haiti? Like, how would you help Haiti? In numerous ways. There's always some greasy nigga working there, taking the money and bouncing. Kodak Black is president now. You got money, so. So I ain't got no reels to try to manipulate them yeah. by the trick them by the... Everything I do, I move with great intent, you know what I mean? mm. For sure. First thing you need to do is uh, be cool with the Clintons. Then you, you, you start running shit, man. Cause I, did they buy up all, all of Haiti? Like, we gotta- Yeah, you, some fuck shit. <laughs> you, if you got the, uh, your security, nah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My security, goddamn. Hey, they helped Venezuela get their independent. Yeah, that's what I heard, yeah. yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. You're like the Jesus Christ of Haiti, man. Like, yeah, Haiti helped like, uh, like six other like Latin countries get their shit. So. Mm. Yeah. Final question, BET's coming up. You go, Are you gonna be there? I mean, you had issues last year. You know, you felt like you got. Somebody had hit me on some shit yeah. about, about some uh, nomination shit or whatever. Yeah, you and uh, Christian and, Combs is like, uh, yeah, that okay, yeah. that record is nominated this year. I ain't really with all that. <laughs> you were a little like, uh, kind of like bugged out off of last year, right? With all the hits you had, and then you were like, "What the fuck?" Like, I wasn't never really on that in the first place, I mean. mm. but you know, motherfuckers, we uh, 
having my best interests and all that. Right? <coughs> Man, just go, you know. I mean, was some shit for real, for real. Pay me what I weigh, you know what I mean? Oh, Treat okay. Me like no peon. Yeah. I saw you at that Don movie, and uh, when you went on stage, I think the first, before you started your speech, you were like, I'm rich. Like, it's, it's, you just woke up, or you, just, you I mean, you've been rich. Like, why did you say that then and there? Like, you were like, yo, I'm really rich. Like, was that a wake like up? Sometimes niggas be so down to earth that. I sleep on myself a lot of times and shit. To a motherfucker be like, damn, well you, I don't, wanna, I don't think you know who you, and shit. I, mm. I be vibing, I be vibing, shit. So one day I had got up and I was looking myself in the mirror, like, damn, shit, you rich. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm rich? <laughs> Like damn, shit, you did that. Well, I'm wow. proud of you. And you, and you, you said you had issues, and you got over your issues, and he would understand that. Got my issues with what? I mean, with like problems with life and depression and stuff like that. You got oh, over yeah, that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got over it, but he was also there. Like even if you hear on the Roses song that was on the album that just like just dropped, mm -hmm. like he was just saying like when it comes to that song was specifically about niggas or whatever. So he just like yeah, y'all niggas better not play with her. Like Trash. you know what I'm saying? So that's a form of helping. Like, mm. yeah, like, y'all niggas don't play with her. Like, it's like my little sister, this is my dog, this is my friend, this is my artist, this is my, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's like, don't play with her, you know? Sure. Mm. So it's like, he, at the end of the day, it, no, nobody could help me with what shit I was going through. You feel me? Because it was like losses and people who I lost in my life and shit and whatever I was going through. So it's not nobody who could really help me with that shit for real. Not a therapist, not a nobody. It's just something I got to get, that I had to get through. Honestly, I'm through it now. Like mm -hmm. I had to take my little break like I was just telling you or whatever. So it was like on some positive shit. But ain't gonna lie, standing 10 toes with me for sure. Is it like crazy to go over humps, like, you know, with life and so much bullshit you, out there? You need all that, that beautiful formula. To, to create who you are. Yeah. yeah. Like you, Even if it's a beautiful disaster, like, it's great. You gotta take care of things. You've been through a lot of crazy shit. Like, to be still here, even at your age, like, you sure. had so many, like, bullshit going on. Like, Hurdles. to be still here yeah. is uh, an accomplishment. Hell yeah. Yo. Be six feet up, regardless, huh? Mm. For sure. For real, for real, everybody like me and the love don't be the same shit. Uh, a lot of lot of people, a lot of niggas call themselves real niggas. But like, what do that exactly mean? Mm. Everybody got their own definition. With me, love is a verb, it's an action word. A lot of motherfuckers just use that, like just out of context, in, in vain. Mm. Man, bitch, I ain't gonna play with you. Mm -hmm. No understanding. That's some real shit right there. Um, being a family man, that switched you up. Were they around? Were you around with the young Kodak when he was wilding, or you came in with the cool Kodak? Cool Kodak. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Broward, so I know about the young Kodak. Yeah, I, I'm assuming you know his history, but it, it, how would it I'm be? I'm a great ass person. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm a sweetheart. I'm a sweetheart. When you go to him, man, they be trying to like stand on you. And shit, that's just how it is. Motherfuckers really scared of my potential. Mm. Whole industry is. Yeah. There's no limits now. You, you say you're taking the acting shit serious. That Dawn documentary. Like, so I got all kind of scripts. Bro. Everything, everything will come into fruition. <laughs> is there gonna be like you know? There's like a big movie in every neighborhood. Are you gonna create one to to talk about the real stories, or or are you gonna have your own like version of your own movie, like you know, like a Boys in the Hood or some type of shit like that, where it just yeah. I sit down with uh, 50, 50 Cent about mm -hmm. like two years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. A lot of motherfuckers, they be watching like the City of War. Mm. I had that going. That would be hell if I saw Kodak like, you know, like beef with Kodak on power. That would be crazy. You would 50 like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Hardeen Las Vegas, the best dispensary in the world. The first step to reaching your full potential is having the courage to start. At Strayer University, we help students take action by making higher education more affordable with access to up to 10 no-cost gen ed courses, because our goal is helping you work toward yours, so you can always keep striving. Visit strayer.edu to learn more. No-cost gen ed is provided by Strayer University affiliate Sophia Learning. Eligibility rules apply. Connect with us for details. 
Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day, Lil. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.